You keep that synth freak at arm's length. You understand me? Are you talking? To? Who just said that? Who wants to get messed up? First of all, Nick's a. Uh, what are you sitting on? Hello? Are you good? What in the witchery? And you and everyone in here is worried about synths. Do you see this? She's she's floating. Hey, everybody. She's floating, and you're worried about Nick? Crazy. Oh, what's going on, it's Johnny, and welcome back to Fallout 4. Why is there a bunch of random shit? What the f- What's happening? You good? Hey! Are you alright? Oh, it just like floats out of exist, dude. What in the actual hell is going on right now? Why is this happening, dude? <laughs> what? Uh, should I be concerned or is it just there? Maybe I hope so. Let's go to like, ooh, what's down here? Actually, I'm not going down there. We need to figure out why it's doing that. I'm assuming it's because... Actually, I have no idea. Let's go check it out in uh, the big city and see if that's happening as well. Because if it is, then I need to figure out what's going on, what's causing that. So, let's go check that out. Because it hasn't done it before, so I don't know why it's starting now. I'm, I'm actually concerned, because if I get... If I get struck in my noggin by a flying car, that's going to kill me. Alright? And I don't want to be dead by a flying car. Anything happening in the city? Do you see anything? I don't see anything. I did that. Okay, so I think it's just Concord. I think Concord is the the culprit here. Oh, my God! I just want to play the game and not die, please. Everything in this world wants to just kill me. Everything. All right. First things first. One, I was gonna say this in the beginning, but the flying cars kind of threw me off. We are going to be definitely checking out uh, Red Rocket and making a a house. I have an idea for it. Um, I went ahead and looted a bunch of buildings, but I was like, now nah, I don't want this anymore, so I spawned a fuck ton of junk in. That's going to just take away so much time and energy trying to get random junk, and then that way we can actually, like, that way we can actually, like, just build and not have to worry about, okay, we don't have enough for this, we'll do it later. We can just do one build, one building episode, just be done with it. Um, I play this entire game by myself. I don't need to freaking prove that I've done it legitimately. We're playing a modded game anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Alright, talk to Piper. Story of the Century. Let's go talk to Piper, I guess. Let's go to Diamond City. I'm hoping that this whole flying shit doesn't continue on. Ho hopefully it's just Concord and I don't have to deal with it, but... We'll see what happens. Right now, it's good, but I don't... Hey, do you see anything flying around? I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're good. As long as I don't got, like, random people flying through the air and shit, I think we'll be alright. Okay, so, question. Can we go here now, or do we need to wait? <gasps> we, can, we can go to now. Sweet. I thought maybe we had to wait because it's kind of nighttime. I might have just got here right in time, so... Let's go ahead and... Piper. Talk to her. Head my way? I guess we do need her to be there, huh? Hmm. What up, Nat? Now, what's this? I can't tell if this was storage or trash. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, so the century. I don't really want to do that just quite yet. Let's listen to the the um, Valentine the Title Agency radio. Talk to Ellie. Uh, Ellie is outside, right? She's the one that's in his office, correct? Hopefully, we can get her. We can get there in time before it becomes super dark. I'm guessing. I don't know. All the people are here are gone, so maybe we have to wait. I don't know. I'm not for sure. I'm not for sure. All right, cool. Maybe there's like certain locations in this building or in this area that we can actually go to without having to wait. I'm glad you're here. We got a new case while you and Nick were out. Ready to put on the detective hat? Absolutely. Tell me, Tell more. me more. Our client, 
is a fisherman who lives on the edge of the Commonwealth. Kenji Nakano. Nakano? Huh. That name takes me back. Hmm. My memory's a little fuzzy on the details, though. Maybe if you bothered writing things down, Nick. Can't do that. Wouldn't want to put you out of a job. Huh. I'll remember that the next time you need me to console a hysterical client. Mr. Nakano didn't leave many details. Said he'd go over everything when you meet him. But if you want my guess, missing person case. Guy had a worried look a mile long. Okay, I'll check it out. Go check it out. Thanks, Ellie. The Nakano residence is up in the northeast, near the coast. A small fishing house. He said that he and his wife will be waiting for you. It's a long walk. <laughs> Nakano residence. Hard cases always start. Now I do know that. Um. How should I say this? I do know that there is definitely a side quest that goes up in there, and that's how we start Far Harbor, so I'm hoping that's not it. I'm really hoping. Time to study radio. I think I think we can get a mission from this guy in here as well. Um, hi. Yeah, him. Yeah. Travis. What up, bro? Are you so dirty? Like, I don't care if it's the wasteland, Travis. man. Clean hey, yourself up. I mean, I mean, I mean, hi. Again, uh, hi, hi, hi. Don't, uh, don't, don't break my stuff if you, uh, if you don't, if you don't mind. Hey, Travis. This radio station, um, well, uh, <laughs> well, uh, you'll notice there aren't any other ones. I thought we could get a, there's definitely a way to get a mission here, but I don't know how to do it. I talked to him a few times. It didn't really add anything there. I, it's like something to do with a girl. I'm for, I'm pretty sure. So I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. You look a little roughed up. Shut up. Doc, I believe you eat that food. Only one thing worth buying in the dugout inn, and that's the booze. Yeah, it's gotta eat. Dugout inn. Let's go in here. Let's check this out. Dim, I need to talk. Just a minute, dear Tim. I am in middle of story. So then, I am crossing rib, right? Wearing nothing but a smile. When out comes the most dangerous of all sea monsters. A mire lurk! A mire lurk? Hey, you then. Come on. We need That's like to two out of ten points of danger tops. Now, if you want to talk something really... You got my attention. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. From what I hear, you may fit the bill. Go ahead and save, and let's... I'm gonna do another save. I don't mind danger, so long as I get paid well enough. You'll get paid this... Nope, I'm gonna get paid, bitch. That is how it's gonna be. I put my life in danger, you pay me. I don't mind danger. So long as I get paid well enough. You will be well paid. I can promise you that. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me. But you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. You got it. Talk to Jack Cabot. See this bar? I killed a man for it. <laughs> no, no. I kid. I kid. <laughs> he is dead, though. <laughs> now, let me know when you're ready to order. So this is your bar. So this your bar? Damn straight it is. My brother Yefim and I make the best moonshine in the entire Commonwealth. We call it Bobrov's Best. Had to start renting out rooms just so customers uh, had a place to safely pass out after drinking it. <laughs> cool. Just browsing for now. Uh, all right. All right. Well, you keep that synth freak at arm's length. You understand me? God, even the sky isn't safe. Did you see that limp thing? Are you talking? To, who just said that? Who wants to get messed up? First of all, Nick's a. Uh, wh wh what are you sitting on? Hello? Are you good? What in the witchery? 
and you and everyone in here is worried about synths. Do you see this? She's she's floating. Hey, everybody, she's floating, and you're worried about Nick? Crazy. Insanity to me. The nerve on some of these people. The nerve. Let me say. Let me tell you that. Okay, the nerve. All right. Cool, cool, cool. We're out of here, coach. Can't steal anything of that, apparently. Which is kind of crazy. Alright, um... I think we're good here. I think that uh, we can probably just get up out of here. Okay, what's our main mission now? Talk to the Nakano resident. Hmm... I guess we could just travel up that way. Let's go to the green top, and then let's travel up that way. Try to grab that gun as well. Let's try to get some of these uh, Fallout New Vegas guns out of here as well, because... That would clear up a bunch of our quests, that's for sure. What are you running down that way for? I remember the last time I had clean fingernails. Okay, we gotta figure out which way we gotta go. So it's this way. These two lonely ones out this way. General vicinity. Cool. We can definitely handle that for sure. Go ahead and save it. Actually, it doesn't really need to be saved at the moment we just got here. Kind of a pointless save, but if you don't ask me, if you do, if you, I can't. I can't talk. What of it? Good God! You catch the plates on that. No way anyone survived that. Well, you saw that too? To make sure. You saw that? Okay. Well, we gotta go freaking get that. We definitely gotta go figure out what the hell that was. Actually, I know what it is, but, you know. You I'm like stuck on something. Get the fuck out of me. Those things suck. Listen, I get that you're a robot and you gotta be on her side, but like, don't be. You know what I'm saying? Just don't be. It makes things just a little bit harder for me. Now you got bugs too. Everyone just needs to not. Wouldn't want it going to waste now, would we? All right, that's where do, where do I even kill her at? Right here. Yeah. I'll take your stuff. Don't don't mind me. Don't mind if I do. There are bugs down here. I ain't dealing with those bugs. You see those bugs? I ain't dealing with them. Not doing it. Refuse. Count me out. Don't don't deal me in with those cards. You know. I'm not playing your game. I'm just not. Refuse. It's slow. This also could be a pretty cool place as well. See, I wish that this place here would actually fill up a little more, but it is what it is, I guess. Let's see. I think you can actually get um, hello? a mission here. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to ignore you. Just got caught up in my work again. So, what do you think? Nice, isn't she? Yeah, it's nice. Really nice. Yeah, it's nice. Really nice. You've got an eye for them too, huh? It's a genuine Getty Up Buttercup. The 2076 Special Edition. Best toy on the market before the war. It's a shame, though. I don't have all the parts to get this old girl working again. Don't suppose you happen to have a spare crate of toy parts on you? I don't. Sorry, no. Of course not. But... Hmm, I think I know where you could find some. Not the most glamorous job, but I'm willing to pay. You interested? Alright, I'll do it. Thanks. 
This really means a lot to me. There's only one place to look for parts like this. The old Automatoys factory, south of Quincy. Not gonna lie, it's at the far end of the Commonwealth. That whole area's a death trap. Gunners and worse. Even for you, it might be too much. But if you're ever down that way, don't forget about me. Now, where was I? Continue on, my guy. I time swimming in there with all that foliage. All right. There we go. Uh -huh. Welcome to the slog. We're the only tarberry bog in the Commonwealth. So what do you think of the place? It's pretty clever, making a tarberry bog out of an old swimming pool. No kidding. That's a good-looking crop to boot. I appreciate your saying so. When I came across this place, it was the first time I'd seen anything like it. It seemed like a shame not to use it for something. You probably noticed it's only ghouls around here. I used to live in Diamond City, until that rat bastard mayor threw me and all the other ghouls out. I decided that we ghouls should have a place where we could feel welcome. And that's mainly why I started up this farm. It looks like you've done well for yourself. It's a good start, yeah, and I'm proud of all the work we've done. Still, I think we can do more. What if this place could be more than just a refuge for ghouls who aren't welcome elsewhere? What if it could also be an example of what we can do when we put our minds to something and work together? We want this to be a place that everyone looks forward to visiting. With smiling faces, good bargains, and great produce. Maybe we can make people take a second look, you know? Maybe then they'd see that we're not monsters. Hmm. I think it's a great idea. You really think so? Because if you do, we could definitely use some help. We can't sell tarberries without traders. And trade caravans need safe roads. There's a gang of super mutants that's been preying on anyone who comes near their turf, including traders. It'd be a great help to us if you could take care of those brutes once and for all. I'll take care of those super mutants. I promise. Good. I didn't know what we were going to do. You got it. This? Cooking station. Yeah, I wish I really want some better armor, man. That's like my biggest thing right here, or right now, that I want to like really take care of, but... It is what it is, I guess. Okay, we gotta go... This way? No. That way. Definitely gotta go this way. We can take care of those super mutants at a later time. Aww. Dude. Dang. Can I get in here? Yes. There we are. Really anything in here? Auto cap. Sugar crisps and dog food. Nothing really in here to be honest with you. Which makes sense, you know. Okay. Go ahead and towards this uh these two places here. I wanna grab these two things and then we can kinda go from there. Also back to the red rocket thing. I have an idea for the house I wanna make. So, you have the, like, the big awning thing, like, where, where cars can pull up and get gas. The big, uh, like, the ceiling, I guess you could say, roof area. I'm thinking about encasing that, like, going around it with, like, carts and stuff. And then making that, like, this one big house. If that makes sense. So we'll probably do, like, a... Am I, am I just that bad at aiming? 20 rads? Relax, will ya? Hmm. 
My God. Best scrap in the Commonwealth, right here. Just browsing for now. What you got? Lenard Moore? I haven't even seen this place, dude. I'm actually seeing a lot of things that I haven't seen in my first playthrough. Hey there. I buy and sell. Just put up everything you've got and let's see if we can make a deal. Let's see what you have. 308. We have some money, so we'll, we'll go ahead and spin. I want to, I want all your 556, five, that's for sure. Um. Kellogg outfit. Should take it. I don't, I don't want it. Stealth Boy, go ahead, we'll take- that'll, that'll knock off some stuff there, Razor Grain, Buff Out Medex, a Dick Doll. Um, these things right here, Cybernetic, don't need it. Is there anything in here that's like, weight? San Francisco Sunlights? What does that mean? Just really looking for weight. I don't need any of that stuff because, well, I just don't. All right, I'll give you two thousand. That's fine. We'll make that up eventually, anyway. Go ahead and head down this way. Could be coming up on a. Uh, go ahead and save. Bottle caps here. Look at that. I already made some money back already, and I'm just walking literally t 20 feet. Okay, where we gotta go now? Okay, so we can either- well, I think we'll go down this way first. Actually, let's go talk- let's go look at this place. Museum of Witchcraft. Go ahead and look at this. Place looks freaking sweet, I won't lie to you. For sure sick. I won't lie. Can't open it from this end. Chain. Hey, how do I get in here then? I don't think I've ever been here. I might have. Auto cap, powder heart, holo tape. Investigate the Museum of Witchcraft. I'm getting some bad vibes. I'm not gonna lie to you. The devil's do. Listen to Private Heart's holo tape. Uh, I think we're gonna get out of here. I don't like the vibes here. We'll do this at a, at a different time. We'll co we'll just we'll come back. Okay, we'll come back. Let's go. Let's go get this thing. Am I going the right way? Up here. Like right up here. Sandy Cove's convalescent home. Retrieve the key from the front desk attendant. God, there's so much shit to do. Salem. Look at the guy up there. I ain't running out of ammo anytime soon. Is there more? Crabby. No, but there's definitely something gotta get down here. It's gonna take a lot more than some big fish to scare me. Okay. Oof. Twenty five percent critical damage. Oh my gosh, taking that for sure. Nice. You picked the wrong day to tick me off. Who are you talking to, man? I'm pretty sure all those things are dead. Your funeral. I hear him. You picked the wrong day to tick me off. Oh, he's right here. Off. Hey, Nick, won't you help me out here? Hey, sniper on the top. Fucking help me out here. He's bouncing like a bunny. Before any more of them catch wind of you, 
Look, I'll open the gate, and you get it here quick. I'm gonna let you in the bunker. Don't make me regret this. Okay. Meet Barney in his bunker. Mm, right here. We should head over to the Nakano residence when we can. Find out what their case is about. We will. Don't you worry about it, alright? I can't get in there. It won't let me in. I uh, don't see. I can't. Okay, maybe we'll, why does it come back, I guess. I don't really know what to tell you. I was hoping we could just go ahead and clear that mission up, but... It is what it is. Things just don't work sometimes. I might be able to like come in here one like another time, like load back in, and it'll it'll fix itself. That happens sometimes. Not really worried about it. If we don't get to, it, we don't get to it. You know. Like I said before, this is definitely not a hundred percent. So, just trying to waste some time. All right, let's um. I think. I'm pretty sure Far From Home is definitely Far Harbor. I think that's... I think that's what I'm doing right now, is Far Harbor stuff. And I don't want to do that. Like, I'm almost 110% certain. Unless I'm just thinking of something different, but I'm a thousand percent sure that this is Far Harbor. Am I going the right fucking way? Yeah. I would not be swimming in this at all in real life. Oh my. Get me out of here. Mm. Bobby pin boxes, frag grenades. That's what I am talking about. Just random stuff chilling. We're taking that for sure. What's here? I just love the world of this game. I really do. There's just always stuff... Always stuff to just explore, you know? But, uh, you there's just... Episodes on episodes of just exploring. Like, you could literally just explore for freaking 30 hours of this entire game and not even touch quests. Just, like, stack them up, you know? Like, right here. Let me open it. Mother! Like, right? I'm close. There it is. Nice. Hey, nothing, really. We'll take it. Laser pistol. Cool. I think... I think we're good now. Yeah. Okay. Let's continue on. Go ahead and save. Big factory coming up here. I'm really looking forward to Starfield too. That's gonna be a sweet game whenever Bethesda gets that done. I'm thinking next year is when that's gonna come for sure because I just with the whole Bethesda and on your way, soldier. Hmm. The Pridwin is a magnificent ship, and we're lucky to have her in our arsenal. Okay. Anyway, but with Bethesda uh, getting bought by Microsoft, I think once they figure out like that entire deal and that deal went through, I think we'll well, I think we'll see well, Starfield next year. Because the last time they talked about it was in 2018, and I just feel like they don't really talk about stuff until it's close to being ready. But I honestly feel, and plus there's been leaks this, these past few uh, weeks, so I'm thinking Starfield will come definitely next year. We're just kind of letting this whole Xbox thing get done, and then the new Xbox and consoles coming out, and all that nonsense, so I'm definitely thinking it's new me next year. What are you doing in the water, dude? Handle it, Nick. Handle it, Nick. Not really handling it as much as I thought you would handle it. Okay. 
Okay, let's just look over here. If definitely this is Far Harbor, I'm just gonna walk away. We'll fast travel somewhere else, but this is just a good little exploration. Things that need to be done anyway, so... Ain't no rules to this shit, bro. We're just out here. Just ain't no rules. Yeah, I think this is definitely Harbor. Far Harbor. I'll know as soon as I get up here. Far Harbor's a DLC if you don't know. Yeah, I think so. Definitely don't want to do Far Harbor at all. But we'll go ahead and get the XP for hitting his house. Yeah, this is definitely a Far Harbor, for sure. 1,040,000%. Yep, that's a word. Damn it! Come in! Yeah. I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where is my daughter? I uh, hope you don't mind. We let ourselves in. Nick, thank God. You need to get to work right away. She could be hurt. She could be... Whoa, whoa, slow down. Uh, Kenji, was it? Why did you go over the details with me and my partner here? You brought a partner? Good. The more eyes, the better. We're here to help. Tell us what happened. It's all thanks to this damn radio. Our daughter Kasumi likes to fix things. The radio was her latest project. Until she made contact with some kidnapper who lured her away from us. Or maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. Our daughter is 19. She knows how to survive and she's capable. I... think maybe she left because she wanted her own life. No. She would have told us where she was going. She would have said something. I know my daughter is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. We'll find her. Don't you worry. Thank you. Her room is upstairs if that helps. And if you had any more questions about her, just ask. Don't worry, Kenji. We'll get to the bottom of this. Just sit tight. Okay, cool. I'm not gonna do this. This is Far Harbor stuff, and I just don't feel like, um... Dealing with all that right now, because we haven't even, we haven't done the freaking main quest yet. So there's really no really. I should have saw her from far from home. I should have it should have just instantly got my brain. Uh, okay, so let's go. Let's go back here and do this railroad mission. Uh, it was like up here, wasn't it? So I think what we'll do is go here, fast travel there. Try to find the mission for him, and then go talk to him and get that done. I need to see what we're doing for time. Okay. Oh man. This shit's nasty, huh? Perfect. Okay, we gotta get this done. Let's see here, we need to talk to... Deacon. Yeah, meet Deacon on the at the old highway. Is right here. Oh my God! Yeah. Went right into that one, didn't we? Didn't even touch me, bitch. It wrong. didn't even touch me. Didn't even touch. Me. I really hope that Cyberpunk is just filled with quests and stuff to do because I think what Bethesda lacks in writing, they definitely make up in world. Uh, they definitely make it up like here. Like the whole... Just everything. The way that they put the world together is just ridiculously great. Okay, here he is. Do we need to kill all you people first or... Why is there... Who's this? A gunner? Oh, we can get you done, Zoes. Let me freaking get up here. Hell yeah. Okay. No. Are you? Are you where's this? Where's this? Where's this guy at? Deacon, get your ass up here. We're not chasing nobody. We're just trying to get stuff done, and you're out here. Running around in the freaking glowing sea. Or not glowing sea. The freaking the weather. It's all nasty outside. Come here. I'm talking to you. Deacon? Is that you? Like the disguise? It's Wastelander Camo. 
This is my pile of garbage, asshole. Back off. Good, right? <laughs> You're lucky I didn't do one of my face swaps, too. I almost didn't recognize you. That's the point. So, about the job. The railroad's only recently been using the old North Church. Our old base was underneath the Slocum's Joe. We had a pretty sweet setup until the Institute found us. That sounds really, really bad. It was a disaster with a capital D. The survivors didn't have time to grab anything. So we're getting something important we had to leave behind. Let's find it then. We gotta do one thing first. We got a tourist nearby. He or she has information on the base. So let's pump him for information before we dive in. For now, I'll take point. So I'm looking for rail signs. Symbols we use to send messages to each other. If you like that, we got signs and counter signs, dead drops, even a secret handshake. All right, maybe the handshake. Because we gotta follow anyway, Deacon. The tourist should have a trail left for us. Also, if I go like super quiet at some points, because I'm really trying to listen, I can't hear. I'm like, I, it's all going through my uh, my monitor, and my monitor is pretty old, so the the, the speakers definitely need to be. Well, they're monitor speakers, so they ain't very good. But I have, like, expensive speakers on the side, but for whatever reason, the game's stupid and won't let me... Won't let me freaking uh, use them, so... I'm trying to just listen. That's my fault. I'm not entertaining at all. But I guess... I need. I wish you would hurry up, Deacon. Like, you're really just taking your fucking time out here, and I don't think we have that kind of time, to be honest. Here we go. You know what's really funny about this game? The, the, the entire center. game is like, yo, Direction. find your son. So our is up ahead. Wait. Let's keep going. Okay. The game's like, yo, find your son. Your son's important. You know, you got kidnapped, you gotta figure this out. But then you can also take, like, your freaking grand old time building your settlements up. It's like, yo, I wish I could've got to you sooner, son, but, you know, I had to build a house and, like, get shit together. And I had to, like, put my guns and stuff, you know, and like get my armor and all that and all like it's just like Gotta what? A rail sign. Right there. You all dead? We'll take it, I guess. You about I wish you would hurry. I think we're gonna change guns too really quick. You need to put the grenades back on. Okay, so this does 46. But we also have that one that we just get got. I think this will do a lot better than this one. So I think we could probably just drop that, but we're gonna keep it for whenever we hit the, uh... Oh yeah, I like, I like this one. I didn't hit that thing, but I can just tell I'm gonna like it. I'm gonna like it a lot. But we'll use this one as, like, the main one. We'll take the other one and we'll break it down. So long, pal. I about just jumped up the side right there. That'd have been a long freaking fall, to be honest with you. I think that was new quantum quantums. New quantum quantums. A croissant? A croissant? Hey. You, uh. You about ready? You're. Stuck, huh? Let me help you out. Or not. There you go. There you go. There you go. Actually, hold on. You gotta, re you gotta reload. After this whole Starfield, though, I, I'm, I'm excited to see how they're gonna do it. Cause we, uh, I didn't play, uh, the Outer Worlds on on YouTube. But I think I think we did like two or three episodes, but. <clears throat> Now that I kind of like a note I'm doing with the channel, we we'll definitely play Starfield on the channel, but I'm just excited to see how they're gonna do space because Obsidian did really well with it. Look, no matter what he says, you just say mine is in the shop. Trust me. Okay. So I think Obsidian kind of nailed what they were going for, but I hope Starfield, man, I hope they just really nail it. The new IP, so. They really got to, especially with all the shit's been going on. <clears throat> oh, thank God. This whole Fallout 76 and stuff. Counter? Do you have a goddamn Geiger counter? 
Mine is in the shop. Who the hell is he? HQ said they were sending one agent, not two. Sorry, I'm new. He's just showing me the ropes. All right. The wall is my witness. I thought I was dead. It's about goddamn time you headquarters bastards got here. It's all right. We're here now. You're safe. You think I'm goddamn safe? That little slocum Joe's of yours is crawling with goddamn chrome dome and sons of bitches! The front's fortified to hell and back. They place mines all over the goddamn place. I appreciate all you've done. I hope it helps. I really do. As soon as it's safe, I'm getting the hell out of here. So if you need anything else, better ask soon. Okay. What are we gonna do now? Just talk. Okay, there's Deacon. I'll say what? Excuse Good me. Fun. Well, isn't Ricky just a ray of sunshine? You think he's telling the truth? He doesn't strike me as the dishonest type. Yeah, that's my read too. First rule in this business is never go against your gut. So, if we take him at his word, the front door has mines, synths, and probably other fun and exciting prizes. So, we're going in through the escape tunnel. The tunnel has got to be easier than a frontal assault. Easier, but no cakewalk. You lead us there, pal. I got you covered. Inside the escape tunnel. I mean, jump down from the side over here? Ah, uh, that'd be a big fat negative. Big fat negative. Also, it seems like you guys are really enjoying these Fallout, uh... Fallout episodes. Like, tremendously. So I appreciate you. I think you guys are really enjoying this long-form videos in the first place. This is kind of like what I would've been wanting to do with the channel anyway, it's just play games. I don't really have, like, I'm not trying to be a, a horror channel, I'm not trying to be, uh, anything. I'm just playing games that I want to play. I'm not trying to conform to the YouTube bullshit. I'm just playing games and that's it. I don't think that's how it should be. I know a lot of people on YouTube that I've met over the years and they literally are just like, I gotta do this, I have to do It's like, no. Just play the- play what you want, you know? Like, honestly. Doesn't matter. It's because I, I mean, I'm in it for the money too, so don't get me wrong. Like, I would like to be this as my job, but I'm also not like forcing anything. I'm just playing, you know? A lot of people conform because it's like, well, if I don't, if I do this, I'm not gonna make. No. Just fucking play what you want to play. Period. End of story. We're in. The back entrance is safer, but be ready for Gen 1s and 2s. So it's time you learn why we're here. We're retrieving a prototype developed by our good Dr. Carrington. Okay, let's find the property then. Let's find a prototype then. Together with you, I like our odds. First step is to this override is... the security lockdown. This is freaking long as hell. Well, the terminal's on at least. I'm gonna feed it some passwords. No. 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 Ah, missed one, you cocky bastards. The prototype's deeper inside. Someone oh, left someone a rail sign here. Is someone present? This one means danger. No. Movement detected. Curious. One last test. All right, we're well, we're really in here, huh? Like appears to be nothing. To Perhaps my sensors need calibration. Hostile sensor reading. Detected. Look around. Tinker managed to I don't think we're alone. Okay. Hey, probably save some lives. What? I will limit the pain I inflict, if possible. Are you serious right now? All right. What? Quit doing that. Jeez. That took a lot longer than it should have. I'm not joking. 
be any courses in here, but if there are, just run. It's all three bullet things suck. Do a lot of effort to keep folks out of here. Just keep a rock in here. Hello. Another active terminal. We didn't have time to trip the defenses up ahead. Power them up, and we can give our friends a little surprise. Perfect. I think dead. I guess so, huh? Just keep it going. Novice. Oh man, I haven't done one of these in a little bit. Ooh, booty! <laughs> okay, so none. So no B, no O's, no T's, and no Y's in that in that order. So let's do sword. Nothing on either. Okay. Definitely wasn't wouldn't be that either. You freaking idiot. Uh. Let's just redo it. A little bit easier, I think. Okay. Paths. Why is, why is every freaking time I want to do something like this, it says, gives me tries reset. I don't want that right now. I want does removed, you jerk. Go on here. We got a titty one looking right here. Okay. Uh... There's one here. Sonic. Swamp. Sonic and Swamp. Swamp has one. But so definitely gotta be an S. That's it. Absolutely. Get me in here. You must be terminated. Oh. Reload the gun! Fucking nose it. Go ahead, Nick. Get him. Get after him. There you go. I missed that. That seems like horseshit. Alright, give, give me a different gun. I think it's pissing me off. Let's use this one. I'm gonna use this one in a good minute. We have like 700 bullets for this thing, so let's just keep it rocking, shall we? Really let these things go. I think we want to make this thing an auto pistol as well. Next time we get to a gun place. Joe has a massive tunnel complex underneath it. We're entering a secret defense intelligence a place that never officially existed. It's called the switchboard. The prototype is locked up in the heart of the facility. Ow. I hear ya. Is someone present? It would appear my target has disappeared. Has it? I haven't disappeared. I'm just ready to rock a roni. This is the front door they're talking about. We got a freaking. We got a heal. Oh, this is a work workbench for armor. Is there one for a, uh, a gun? Where no. Was that the hazmat suit, though. Stanley, Salis, Grote, Interesting. Open says me. If I sell it, weapons. Let's go. Okay, give me the one with this. I don't have anything on. I forgot. Never mind. Can't do that at the moment. Let's wait till we get back to the house. So Tommy Whispers didn't make it out. He died protecting our secrets. Let me see. Yes, sir. Tommy would want you to have his hand cannon. Don't let its size fool you. The sensitivity of my sensors clearly needs adjustment below. Interesting. Sensors. Nothing more. 
Okay, we can probably just leave now. Ooh, little silent pistol! Let's go! That's a 9 mil though, isn't it? Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Ooh, it's not. Well, it should be a hell of a lot easier fighting the chrome domes on this side of the line. Oh, I like this. Hell yeah. End of the line. Just power up the elevator. Power elevator. Going up. Leaving Nick, apparently. F Nick, I guess, huh? We're, we're leaving, Nicks. We're leaving you. Okay, I thought we were freaking kind of messed up here. Cool. I wish I could have just went this way. It would have been so much easier. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Cool. Meet Deacon at the old North Church. Ooh. Where are we? Okay. Is there more? How are you shooting? I got it, don't worry. You guys handle it. Good. Hell yeah. Okay. Wait, what kind of weapon? 5.56? Five, five, Hell yeah. Let's these things usually always have 5.56. Five, five, so we'll try to grab these for sure. I guess we could just take everything else as well. I got him. We made a good team. The best. See you soon. Alright, cool. Alright guys, we're gonna be ending this right here. Uh, we gotta go meet Deacon in the next one. I don't wanna take the end of I thought that would be caps, like it usually is, but it's not. Uh, we'll be going and doing a bunch of stuff with our guns next episode and going to talk with Deacon, but right now, we're gonna end it. I'm not even sure what episode this is. 13, I think? Uh, the Fallout 4 campaign, walkthrough, whatever the hell it is. So if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys do a YouTube thing, like, comment, subscribe, and share your friends. As always, guys, I'm Johnny. Let me see you guys in the next episode. Perfect. Bye.